Hello everybody, Fear My Games here, the next part of the Napoleon Total War playthrough 1792 campaign. We're here defending once again Napoleon and his mighty army against another rebel army. Will these people ever fucking give up? I've destroyed like what? The defending army when I conquered it. And like two armies of rebels, plus a little spattering here of here and there of extras. Maybe three armies. I'd equivalent probably at this point. I, there's only so much that my my army can handle. In the West, we have a little bit of problems with the Royalists uh, you know, conquering Normandy. And meanwhile, we're now trying to desperately protect Paris. It's, it's a bit of an awkward situation so far in this campaign. Partially brought up about the fact that I have very I have no experience with the Napoleon Total War and it's been a long time since I played Empire Total War. So let's see how this battle is going to go. The enemy is fresh, but we do outnumber them. So our pride that is our primary advantage in this battle is the simple fact that we outnumber them. Let's see. I would. I think I'm gonna fall back here where I have the high ground. I think that's just the only thing I'm, you know, really can do. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. So basically, we were just told that there's probably gonna be a little bit of panic. A problem? Not panic. Problems. Panic because there's gonna be problems. But you know, that's not what they said. Uh, we're gonna try and babysit anybody who's a little bit wounded. I mean, everyone's a little bit wounded, but I mean, those who are more grievy, grievously wounded. Basically, we're going to use the weaker guys as basically, you know, anti-cav placement people. Let's see, we're going to need to make sure that we are ready to hold... If I'm being entirely honest with you, I don't really need... Oops. That's not quite how I imagined that was going to go, so I'm really glad that we're fine. Honestly, these are actually perfect. These weakened units are actually perfect for holding these little choke points here. Though I admit, I am a little worried about these cannons so close to them, but the cannons should be able to fire over their heads, so... Yeah, hopefully it works that way and doesn't end up killing my own guys. Because that would be awkward. We could actually be a little bit more forward, like here. So that would then make it to where I would actually rather have this unit here. And then this unit become, builds the uh, anti-cav defenses, and then I fall these guys back to defend another location. That's that's what that kind of makes me want to do. These guys, wait, they might, no, oh, these are grenadiers. I was going to say, I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't seem quite right. But thankfully, I realized what it was, like, and, and got on. That's actually a very healthy unit right there. I'm actually kind of tempted to have them hold over here instead, but... It's fine. I'm actually going to move these guys here. Uh, yeah, move these guys here. Um, these guys, this little choke point here. Our light infantry will do as we basically they've done for a while now. That's not how you're supposed to be, but you do you, boo. Have those guys placed their anti-cav defenses there. We only have two units of cav. Unfortunately, we lost our heavy cav in one of the, the previous battles because I can't, because I made a bit of a mistake, and they got and they got overextended and killed off. Napoleon almost died. We're in a Napoleon campaign where Napoleon dies. I don't want that to do that. Oh no, thank you, sir. All right, well, let's start the battle. Oh, there's nothing more we can really do at this point. I think we're going to do besides basically moving these guys into a better, hopefully, more defensible position. I mean, not more defensible position, but a decent place to defend, basically. I'm going to make sure these guys have their nice little horses ready to help out. 
I don't think the enemy has any cannons left. I think I killed them all. So at least that's something we don't need to worry about. It does seem like the enemy is trying to lead, is trying to move towards my left flank. But our cannons are doing a nice job getting some pot shots at them. We're going to speed this battle up and, until they start actually engaging us. Let's see, I kind of want to set order these guys to focus fire on the enemy cav if possible. I'm pretty sure we are doing a good job getting some nice pod shots off. Not, unfortunately, not all of our guys- Oh! Unfortunately, not all of our dudes have the anti cad defenses, so they're going to be a little bit more susceptible. But, oh well. I think we can do about that. Our flanks are secure, that's uh, if, if nothing else. Our light infantry, I might need to follow them back, though. These guys are getting beat up a bit more than my guys are, but I'm definitely going to just fall these guys back now. I don't want the enemy um, horsemen getting at them. Okay, you can see the enemy our horse is starting to move up, so I'm definitely glad I started falling back there. Where's my calf? Alright, these guys are able to fall back safely. I think I can now start moving them up again. Those guys look like they're about to rout. How's it looking over here? These guys are doing a good job of going pew 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 with the cannon fire. Are these guys close enough for canister shots yet? Perfect. I do love myself some canister shots. I'm gonna order my cats to start chasing after the fleeing enemy troops. These guys seem to have had a bit of an awkward charge from the enemy, but they seem alive now. That's what matters. I'm gonna have my Dragoons charge past them to try and make sure these guys don't actually make it to my infantry. Actually, they may have made it to the infantry, but they fell back, is my guess. I'm gonna charge in my Grenadiers there to assist them. For some reason, I can no longer hear the sounds of my people. Why does effects keep going off for no reason? I like the speech and effects. It's one of the things I enjoy very much. I like the hearing the little clatter, clatter, clatter of bullets and stuff. I've lost about only three of my horsey dudes. These guys are actually taking a little bit more damage than I would have expected, but oh well. My guys, for some reason, have completely abandoned their defenses. That would make it to reduce. That would reduce their casualties. I don't quite know why they decided this was a good idea, but that's what they decided to do. And look at these guys, they're making like the French and retreating, cowards. I'm 
I'm gonna start chasing them down a little bit with my horses. Then I'm about to fall back though before they get too antsy. I better be careful with these light infantry dudes. Alright, I'm gonna start following these guys back now. The enemy is starting to open fire. I'm gonna put these guys back to normal shot. I don't see anybody except for those guys on the battlefield left. Yeah, these guys have basically all been but wiped out over there, and I'm honestly surprised these guys came back. But them coming back means they're a little bit you get another chance at murdering their faces off. So that works out just fine for me. I'm gonna start pulling back my light infantry. They're firing off at them. Oh, it's a good thing I start pulling them back because the enemy has started to start causing some problems. I mean, those guys just broke, which means that my light infantry are not quite as in danger as I was worried they would be. Yeah, let's see. Looks like this is going to be a battle that's mostly a more of a route, loot, and route, route, unroute, route, unroute kind of battle. That's what it's looking like at least. Deep. This guy should be getting some support, I think, from these guys. It's hard to tell. Yeah, these guys are firing. Now these guys are doing a good job firing. Though there's a couple of brave guys up here who are like, I don't need these de fear defenses that we put in place. I'm gonna stand up here all brave like and let's see them shoot me dead. Well, that's basically, that's what they're saying in my head at least. Whether that's actually what they're saying is a bit more up for debate. I'm hope let's see it. They're just in canister shot range. How perfect is this? Let's actually fire right over here. That will kill these guys for sure. Blam! They instantly broke after getting hit with the canister shot. I love it. I don't know if it was entirely just the canister shot, but I, sh I saw the volley go off and like the little effects on the guys and then suddenly they're running away like wusses. Let's see. It does look like that those guys aren't coming back and these guys will be wiped out by my dragoons. Alright, uh, perfect. Let's just wipe out what remains here of these guys and then uh, let the battle end. Now, yeah, these guys will be completely whipped, which means that they won't try and rebel against me. And with any luck, there won't be another surprise big ass enemy army trying to bur murder me. You know, that's what my, that's what my hope I'm is. And must rest a while. I'm not surprised I've been fatigued. I've been having to brutally murder a crap ton of people for most of this battle, running back and forth, back and forth, doing that. If they weren't fatigued, I'd be considering what kind of drugs they're on. Let's see, where's that last guy? Oh, there he is. He's like, I'm gonna make it! Nope. <laughs> We lost only 102 men in that battle, and they lost all of it. Well, let's see how this goes. You know, maybe they'll give up eventually. 
I mean, the elites are, are still unhappy with the bloke, but the but the peasants are actually not quite as pissed. I view that as a win. That's what we that's what we call it. it's a win. Well, we're getting an army, decently sized army, ready and raring to go, and over in Patty. This enemy army over here is looking pretty scary as well from the enemy, but I'm a little less concerned about it than I am about that big ass army in Holland. <laughs> we now outnumber the enemy army here. But seeing this army over here is motivating me to make a couple more militia troops in Cleves Mark. Instead of investing more in Paris. We'll see where these guys go. If these guys go more deep into into France, we'll have a problem. But I also don't think this army is ready to really take them out on the open field. So we're kind of just in a bit of a bind. Yeah, these guys here are just going around France, just demolishing stuff. Though that does give me an idea. I don't know how well the armed populace is going to go fighting for the enemy. But maybe if I send in my army here. Are they going back in to attack Napoleon again? Damn it, how many times does I teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Apparently the battle claims I can auto-resolve. I'm just going to do a really quick... I'm going to name this quick save. That way I can just uh, quick save before a battle. Like that way in case it crashes or anything like this. Part of me just wants to auto-resolve this. But it might also be a catastrophe auto-resolving it. Because I could very easily win this with only no bloodshed. This was... That was, that was definitely not a good idea. That auto-resolve was horrible. I'm just so tired of defending the same settlement over and over again. But I definitely lost more men than I needed to have lost there. I don't think I lost a full unit though, at least. Uh, Cleves Mark is holding, is gonna be, is hopefully gonna be able to hold itself. I have an idea though. I'm thinking that there's not a real big army over in Normandic. Oh, Normandy. It seems like they're saying Norman Dick, if I'm being honest. Let's see, do I have, is this all, let's see, I'm gonna take a nice, some units of, of elite infantry. And then a couple units of militia, and I'm gonna try and sit, take, out, take out Normandy. Maybe I can reclaim it. Because hopefully the armed citizenry aren't, haven't gone over to the enemy quite yet. Oh, they are making a navy, apparently. I didn't even realize Normandy had a port. They surrendered. We've reclaimed Normandy! Aha, suckers! I knew they would surrender. They were French, after all. It does mean Paris is not as well defended as I would like. But, it does mean that the enemy now has a bit of a problem. I now have an army close to their borders. And they don't have any armies to defend it. So we shall see what they do. The fact that I hold Normandy does make me happy. I'm a little bit worried because Paris does not have a fort, which me and I don't know if Pay to Lille does have one, which could make any cav advance awkward. Yeah, it looks like the enemy's trying to go up to Paris. Paris, you fool! I don't think they, they shouldn't be able to reach it this turn. Good, I was a little bit worried. Can I make this faster? Thank you. Unfortunately, Napoleon's been kind of occupied in the east, which made it so I can't, I, Jesus. I'm gonna quick do this quick save real fast. Thank you.
Yes, yeah, so we'll ride it. We lost only seven men. Okay, good. Come on. Eventually, these rebels have to give up. I'm gonna order myself, but if I see single loss of units, I'm just gonna have to fight it manually. I don't think I lost a full unit there. But yeah, on the bright side, I don't think there's gonna be any more rebellions in Hessen Castle. Uh, so I need to start rebuilding over here, making actual use of it. Okay. A new my Orleans place. What am I building over here? What is this? Oh, per perfect. Is that wait minus one or plus one? Mm. I'm gonna move this art these guys to Paris. To basically support Paris in case of an actual attack. Apparently I could actually go on the offensive over here if I really wanted to. Did I get a cav unit? I did admittedly just abandon Normandy after right after retaking it, but we need to kind of congregate our, all of our forces to try and defend Paris from an enemy attack. Now, but now that Napoleon is no longer stuck in the east, hopefully I can at least get something done. Tulu, 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 is under siege. On the bright side, the enemy army attacking is not very big. So if these guys, honestly, I think we need to take the fight to the enemy. This is the biggest army that Western France has to offer. I swear to God, I cannot reach the enemy. It's like, eh, right there. It's right there, damn it. The bride said, though, our army. Oh, I just realized we already have a spy there. I don't really know why I have two spies there. They don't really have a big army in Hanover, but I don't really have a th anything I can do about it. I'm kind of out of an army to really threaten them. Let's see, four turns until surrender. I'll have to keep that in mind. They didn't end up besieging Paris, but damn you Brits. It's sending an army in while I'm a bit a bit distracted right now. But on the bright side, I will attack these guys from behind. Force them away from beautiful Betty. So if we ought to resolve this battle, we win. But we you know, I wanna fight this battle out because it'll be an actual battle and not just me defending against the endless enemy armies that drive me insane. What time is it? 24 minutes. Okay, we're good. I don't think she's replied to me yet, so, hope, so she must be busy still. Two hours for Manny Petty. They must be doing something else, too. My uh, girlfriend and one of our friends uh, are both getting a... I think it's both a manicure and a pedicure, so Manny Petty, I think, is the term for it. I know they're at least getting a pedicure. I need to cut my nails. They're getting a bit long, but I don't do that. I just go to the bathroom, get my clippers, and go clip, 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 clip. Okay, so we need to keep in mind how this is going to go. So we have some elite guard units. These guys are our strongest men. 
and might be I'm trying let's see and then these guys are our line infantry fusiliers then we have some militias and then we have some light calf and our general calf I don't think we have any calves besides these guys so we have lots of militias Let's see, and on this flank, I definitely want these big boys here. We definitely have to be on the aggressive of being, we have to definitely be aggressive with the enemy here. Because we have the numbers advantage, but they have the firepower advantage. So we're going to basically make use of the fact that we are bigger than them and we definitely need to make a big rush for their cannons and also you make use of our numbers to try and flank the enemy let's see can i see their cannons from here i see general staff enemy cav i'm about to have my cav answer their cav If I'm being honest, you probably wouldn't be bad in the in this middle here. Let me fix this real fast. Yeah, we have one really big line. We're just gonna push up and circle the enemy as best we can. I'm gonna use my my cav over here and my general's bodyguard over here basically split up our cav to try and help cover our bases as much as possible. We're gonna need to run we need to be the ones who run. If the enemy ends up coming towards us, then we'll need to we can react accordingly. But I doubt the enemy's gonna come out of their nice defensible position. I do see the enemy stuff here, so I'm actually gonna try and move this guy over to this flank. And this guy is going over here. Rally ability, and you have the dismount mount ability and skirmisher mode. Yeah, these guys are light cavalry, so we'll have to keep that in mind. And I definitely want to force them into melee because I want them rushing the enemy um, cannons if possible. They're gonna be winded, so I need to walk them now. I've successfully hidden my cav behind the behind our lines. Yeah, our men are winded and the enemy is in cover so that means it'll be hard, a little bit harder to hit them but that's not the end of the world i do want this flank over here oh never mind i was about to try and turn them in a little bit but i have to be a bit aware of the enemy calf force existing let's actually grab this for this fourth one here So we're not quite in melee range of the enemy, so we need to move up. So we're going to start moving up the, our center. Oops, I didn't grab our whole center. This is our flanking force here. Thankfully, we have some three pretty well-trained troops on this flank, so that should hopefully be able to hold. This militia is doing a really good job firing there.
Alright, so the enemy is falling completely into the forest. So the enemy cannons have been taken out now. I think it's all of them, so I'm going to start following this guy back now. They did exactly what I needed them to do, and only lost one unit. That's perfect for us. They attacked the Garbatine, thankfully, and not the actually super, not the weaker ones. Which means that they're perfectly fine doing what they need to do. Who is over here? They're all firing, so that's good. Who's not firing? This guy is kind of safely over here. I'm going to start moving these guys over. I'm going to take that, you just send these guys in, I'm going to start advancing over here and keeping up my encirclement of the enemy. Counter charge that enemy unit. But we've quite effectively encircled the enemy here. guys back. Let's see. It's almost at this point that I should probably just charge the enemy in melee. Not because I don't have superior firepower, but it's because I have such superior numbers. They're both very tired. I'm honestly surprised at the fact that they think the combat's winning, even because they outnumber them and are completely in beating them up. What do I know? I'm just gonna sit and start just charging with my infantry at this point. We've broken the enemy. They have, we have routed them through a mass charge into their faces. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. So I don't know what, what a anything left of this army is, but we're gonna make sure that they are well and truly dead one of our units has used all its ammunition sir all right we won the battle 
We showed that we wiped out their cat their cannon adventures nice and early. They did have a nice forest up around them. But victory was ours against these royalist scum. We have secured Patty against immediate threat. But now we must save Normandy from the from the invading British. Well, I can't make use of this entire army reasonably because just mostly due to the fact that I need to also be able to defend other locations, but I at least want to remove the Royalist as a threat and then we can start garrisoning everywhere else. Arc de Triumph. Oh, that'd be a nice thing to get if we can afford it. That army is scarily big and I barely have any army left to defend from it. The bullion's gonna take a long time to replenish. What is that weird sound? Oh, sure. Alright, let's see. It looks like we're gonna have to do that then. Okay. What time is it? Alright, guys, we're gonna end the episode a little early. I have to start boiling water for dinner. My girlfriend's about to come home now. Um. So, I wish you guys a good day, night, evening, wherever you guys may be, maybe. If you, if you guys liked the video, press that like button down below. Subscribe to see more of my content, or, of course, press Rumble if you're on Rumble. Add a comment down below, but try to be civil. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.